Ouch. Ouch. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to JJD TV. I'm your host, Josh, and today we're back for another five takeaways episode in the DFB Pokal first round matchup against Duisburg. And we obviously played them earlier in the Traditions Cup and beat them 5 1, and we topped it and beat them 5 0. So, like we usually do on this channel with this, this segment, we're going to take a look at five big takeaways that I took from the game, and we're going to get started with Mr. Thorgan Hazard. And when everyone was looking at the lineup today, on 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 Footmob and some other ones, we saw the four two three one with Gio Reyna on the left back, and I was like, okay, like that's that's obviously not the lineup. So I was trying to put together where some people were going because we obviously didn't have a left back in there, but we did have Thorgan Hazard, and Hazard does play left wing back for his national team for Belgium. He does play it pretty well. Yannick Carrasco used to have that position on lockdown, then he went to China, kind of lost it, and Thorgan Hazard has been able to go in there and. And play it and play it pretty well and that's kind of I'm assuming what Fabry saw in him and that he might be able to take on that position and he he played pretty well there's no there's no ifs ands or buts I mean don't get me wrong this is a third division team he has a lot of space he was going up and down the flank very very nicely he always had a ton of space he had a beautiful beautiful little back heel touch to Jude when he put it through the five hole there very nice goal and he also scored a screamer of a free kick so I mean, Hazard had a great game all around, and I mean, he deserves a big thumbs up there. But the one thing you got to be kind of iffy about is, I mean, in my opinion, he's much better as an attacking midfielder on the right. I like him as crosses. I think he's one of the best crossers of the ball, as well as even on the left where he can cut in. I think putting a lot of defensive awareness into his game can maybe throw him off when we're against a bigger opponent. But we're just looking at today's game, and he played phenomenal, and he played pretty decent in that left wing back spot and got a big thumbs up for me. And taking a look at our second takeaway is Jude Bellingham, and this kid played fantastic. He looks like a 27-year-old in his prime, the way he goes around the pitch like that. The thing I really liked about him in this game I saw was that when he, every time he got a ball, whether he's in a tight space or not, he was able to do a quick turn, quick look. He's got such good vision. He brings such energy. He is something else, and Twitter erupted when he got that goal. It was a beautiful pass, like I mentioned from Hazard, and the composure to put it right along the deck, right through the five hole. It was it was a beautiful performance all around. He looks just he looks so composed for such a young kid. He's only 17 years old, and our scouts deserve another big props, and that we were able to to get him over a lot of other European clubs that were interested in him. It's just fantastic, and he's looking like he's going to be someone knocking on the door for the starting eleven moving forward. Taking a look at our third takeaway is we're going to take a look at Jaden Sancho. And if you've been on Twitter any time lately, you notice that all anyone ever talks about is him leaving and going to United. But guess what? He's not. He's, he's not going to go to United this transfer window. I can prom almost promise you that because he is more than likely going to go next summer. I don't, I'm not going to say he's going to stay at Dortmund forever, but I believe he's going to be there for this year. And... And I think people are starting to realize that. There was a lot of rumors of why he wasn't in, in training and training alone and all the rumors were just going crazy. But the reality is that he started today. He played very well. He took on that penalty with pure composure. And you got to give the kid a lot of credit. He's 20 years old and he's being linked all over the place. He had one of the seasons of his life last year and hopefully another great season this year. And he's getting all these link moves. And does he want to go back home to England? Does he want to stay in Germany? And to be able to kind of put it all aside, go out there and perform when it matters, just it just shows a big thumbs up for him and, and he gets another thumbs up for me and, and I'm really looking forward to watching Jaden Sanjo play this year. And taking a look at our fourth takeaway is the squad depth. And this is something that's gonna be so crucial for us going forward because we're up three, four nothing against a third tier team and they're down to 10 men and we get to bring on Thomas Delaney, Marco Royce, Renier and uh, Brandt is just, just unfair it's, it's, it's not it's just not nice and we just went in and two touches later from Marco Royce scores and it just it's gonna be tough I mean we are stacked in the central midfield in the winger areas I do still personally believe we need a center back especially because we are running the three back formation and another striker but I mean where we do have depth we got a lot of it because bringing on those players it can just just drain a game and, and watching Brandt come on with energy and, and obviously his vision and Marco Royce as well. It's just, it's, it's going to be very important for us going forward, but it also shows the versatility we have. Like 
Emery Chan who can play in a few positions, same as Hazard. But I mean, if we really want to compete this year, I still stress that we do need help on those two positions. But taking a look at some of the subs we had in, in a game like this just really shows that we are in a healthy position and those players played pretty well. And taking a look at our fifth takeaway, I don't really want to leap on a negative note and it's not a negative note. This is getting a neutral thumb and it's just because I went five thumbs up last video. I don't want to do five thumbs up every video. And watching today's game, like any of you would have, would be pretty hard to find a negative um, thing. But Holland didn't have the greatest game. And the reason it's not a thumbs down or a thumbs up is just because the thing I liked about him is he came off a little angry. He, he wants to score every single game. He's a natural number 90. If he doesn't put the ball in the back of the net, especially against a third tier team and especially in a 5 nothing win, he's going to be upset. And you can saw it. You saw the emotion when he came off. He was he was angry. He, he wants to get the job done and be what a number nine can be. And when he comes off and doesn't get the job done, it it bugs him. And honestly, in, in the game day, he didn't really offer a whole lot. His runs weren't on. He just didn't really get into the game, which isn't a problem because we have the other players around him. So when he's not shooting in, on all cylinders, we got people who can put the ball in the back of the net. Surprised me a little bit. He didn't take the penalty because usually you want your, your number nine to step up and get off the mark for the beginning of the year and just kind of get rolling because he's your talisman. Saying that though, I am glad Sancho took it because it was just a beautiful sight when some people were skeptical whether he was going to play and he got to, got to go up and take the penalty and score a goal. So that, that was awesome. But it was a very good performance all around. I think everyone can agree that the three back formation is, is where, where we're going to go, whether it's a 3-4-3 three, three, or the 3-4-1-2, which was what it kind of looked like to me today. It was a, it was a very positive performance all around and I'm really excited and those were my five takeaways so hope you guys enjoyed the episode and if you're new around here be sure to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time